Well, it's now the next morning, but uh, I'm gonna get back on getting our engine set up for starting this little, uh, our big pivot loader. I'll flip the camera around so you guys can kind of see what I've got going on so far. Um, but before I do anything, I gotta go get the snow plow put on the service truck because we're supposed to get up to eight inches of snow is what they said. At least that's what I heard. So I wanna get that done so I'm not jacking with that in the snow. As long as also we're trying to get this thing started, it's supposed to start about noon. It's eight o'clock right now. So hopefully by eight or by noon, I have this thing done and fired up to where I can have it in the building. So I'm not messing with it out in the cold. Plus I gotta run into town and get diesel fuel for the salamanders too, cause we're completely out. So, uh, but I gotta get everything done before the snow hits. I don't care if I'm driving during the snow, I got snow plow and you can just drive slow. You'll be all right. But uh, I don't wanna mess with it, this stuff out in the snow. So I'm gonna get back to it, get some videos throughout the way and catch you in the next clip. So this is what we've got so far. I've got the nuts welded on and the bolts, and this will actually cradle over the edge of the uh, frame there, and I'll tighten these bolts down, it'll pinch it to it, so it'll clamp down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll get a piece of pipe and weld it here and here in a line, and then there'll be a piece of pipe that kind of fits in between here that will go on a piece of quarter inch plate that will bolt to that plate. I don't wanna mess that plate up because it's part of my power washer. So it'll bolt to that plate and then this will be a hinge. And then I'll have a bar that comes off of it so I can pull extra tension into it to get it to uh, pull tight against the belt to get it to start. I did find a small pulley to put on it, got that on it. Now I'm trying to figure out the rotation of the other motor so I could, this one flipped the right way. So uh, it actually spins it the right way. So I will uh, start gathering up pieces of pipe, a pin, all that fun stuff and we'll get back to it after that two ends for the hinge welded on this middle piece is it's really hot but it's loose so that will this middle piece will weld to the plate that the motor bolts to so it will hinge off of that point and put a bar on the top plate and then this thing's ready to bolt up and hook up so well we got it mounted up there uh, as you can see here, it, it'll start up there. And then as I pull against it, it'll bring the belt closer to us. So we're going to measure up what size belt that we actually need. Um, I got a piece of square tube welded on here to the bottom and a handle to slide in there to give me my extra leverage. So we're going to get the belt that we need, get this thing fired up and hopefully it'll start it. So technically it's still electric start because the recoil mechanism was the spring broke so we took it off so we're gonna make it electric start turn the gas on turn the switch on i need to tighten that nut up first hang on let me use the impact here and get that nut good and tight oh. i don't really want that coming off Bad for business. Smokes a little bit because we had it upside down there for a minute, but it'll work just fine for a starter. So once our belt gets here, now we know it runs, we'll fire it up. We'll lay into it. I'll probably have to rack the governor out on it to get it to go up in high enough RPMs, but uh, we'll go from there. If we have to, I'll make this little motor have a little bit more horsepower if that's what it needs. So while I was waiting on the belt to show up, which I'm still waiting, I got my bungee cords on there, so it holds tension up on the motor. So it'll only spin the belt when I pull down on it and put tension on the belt, but it'll pull it back up. So it'll be like neutral so I can shut it off. And I do know that this is touching the exhaust, but hopefully this motor isn't running very long at all. Cause once I wind it out, I'm gonna pull tension against it, try to get it to start and then I can shut the little motor off. So hopefully it ain't running very long. If it does melt through it, it's okay. I got a bunch more bungee cords. I'm just trying to keep tension off of it. So when I get fired up, it's not gonna keep spinning that motor. So hopefully everything works like it should. 
Well, our belts just showed up. Um, I'm actually gonna hold off and do this in just a second when uh, my helper comes back so he can video while I do this. But we'll try the belts out, get the right one on there. Um, I'll probably get the belts on there, but we'll have both of us here so we can start it and get it on video. I'll probably put the tripod up and try getting this on video with the tripod so I can leave somebody in the loader. So I'll get the belts figured out and go from there. The uh, pulleys aren't quite the same, but it should grab it good enough to hopefully start it. Um, it does fit the crank pulley quite well, but hopefully it fit or it squeezes down tight enough where it grabs the motor good enough. But uh, we'll fire this thing up and see what happens. Here you wanna hold this, kind of video this real quick. So we'll get this little gas motor fired up and then we'll climb, we'll, uh, we'll make sure it works and then we'll climb up there and turn the power on. How's that sound? Run, hopefully it fires right up. do something about the keyway i was afraid of that okay well see if i can find some key stock and then uh, we'll try this again well as you just seen that was an epic fail we're gonna try it again i've moved my bar on this side so i'm pulling more pressure towards the belt it's probably just gonna bite in it and burn it off but i'm gonna have him try cranking on it too so if i do get it to move a little bit hopefully it'll catch enough in between the starter on the machine and this we can get it to start i just need it to start one time so i can get it in the shop before the snow hits so We'll try this again, see what happens, and uh, go from there. Run, start, we'll go start. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hmm. Ah, what to do now? You know, I wonder if it wouldn't do that if I had a smaller belt in here, width-wise. If you used a, uh, huh? You don't want to change the gear ratio. You want to have a small gear ratio at the night and a large one where you're trying to drive to. No, I'm not saying the size. Isn't that a little big for that pulley? Yeah, it's way big for the pulley. But that's the only pulley I had laying around. Well, that's an epic fail. Back to the drawing board. I'll figure it out here in just a second. We got a different pulley and a different belt. So hopefully with this pulley, it'll actually grip it and not be too narrow and eat the belt off like that one did. So we'll start it. Hopefully it works this time. If not, we'll have to go back to the drawing board.
they didn't like that one either. Okay. Yeah, that's my ear. <laughs>